Ever since I got my first action camera, I always uh, struggled to find the most convenient way to store not only camera but also all of its gear that uh, piled up over a period of time. So in today's video I would like to show you four ways uh, to store your action camera and all of its gear, so stay tuned. Before I start uh, showing you uh, ways I store my cameras, I would like to point out that there is no perfect way to store or organize anything. We are all different, we have uh, different preferences and uh, something that works for me might not work for you. So just keep that in mind that you always have to experiment and, and be creative in order to get the most out of your action camera storage and organization. First way I store my cameras in, is inside this old toolbox, which is perfect for storing multiple action cameras with lots of gears. It looks decent and you can fit uh, plenty of uh, additional gear inside. Cameras and accessories inside are quite accessible, so you can easily get a hold of anything you want and uh, you can uh, store pretty much everything in it. You, s you now see that I have here plenty of stuff, even power banks, cleaning kits, you name it. Okay. Uh, Probably the biggest convenience of uh, storing cameras inside a toolbox is that they are available in nearly any tool shop or even supermarket. As you can see, uh, my toolbox is pretty beaten up uh, since uh, this is one my father used, so I borrowed one from him. And the problem with these toolboxes is that uh, most of them do not look stylish. Probably the biggest disadvantage of using a toolbox is that they are enormous and they're not as flexible as some other things. So you cannot carry this enormous toolbox with you all the time. Another great way to store your action cameras would be in phone case. This is something like James Bond style. Uh, your camera and gear will look tight inside these phone cases and less cluttered. However, no matter how spacious these cases look, they have plenty of room that can't be used due to the thickness of the foam. So besides their price, the biggest con is that there is a lot of unused space. All of these uh, foam cases can be bought on eBay, Amazon or any other tool store, supermarket, they are available everywhere. Ok, tool organizer is also a great way for storing accessories. You cannot store cameras in it. I really like this fella because it is cheap, lightweight and easy to fit into a backpack if you are hiking for instance. The main disadvantage of these toolboxes is that they are small and you cannot fit any larger piece of gear. This means that you will have to have a separate bag for cameras or anything bigger. Also, advantage of this is that uh, most of people have this at home already. People who go fishing, people who work with tools, they all have uh, these sorts of things. So take a look in your basement, maybe you have some of these available already, you do not have to buy it. Okay, action camera bags are probably best overall uh, way to store your action cameras. They are usually uh, divided in few categories. If we classify them by size, we have large, medium and small. There we have waterproof one and uh, the ones that are not waterproof. Okay, larger uh, protective bags can carry out two or three GoPro sized cameras and lots of additional gears. Medium ones can usually hold one action camera and few gears inside and both of these have a foamy interior and it's easy to customize them and cut the foam the way that suits you the best. Okay, smaller size bags are pretty tiny and then can only hold one camera and probably a screw or a few mounts, nothing much. They are meant to fit your pocket and they are a great way if you are on a go and you do not need lots of gears with you. However, one of the disadvantages of the smaller ones is that there are not many brands that produce these tiny bags, so you can always try to make something yourself. For instance, uh, this specific um, bag is actually an earbud bag, so it's uh, made to hold uh, my phone earphones and I just uh, cut some foam and put inside and it keeps my camera perfectly safe whenever I'm hiking for instance. Obviously there are not rules when it comes to action camera storage, you can be creative and always experiment, these are just my ideas and my ways, so I'm sure that there are plenty of other ways to store and organize cameras, so if you have any way or method please let me know in the comment, I would be very happy to hear uh, how you guys organize your gear. If you would like to know a bit more about storing your action cameras, I also wrote very brief guide on my blog, I will put the link to it in the description of this video and you also have um, links to all these things that I presented in the video uh, inside that article, so I'll just put the link in it. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video, bye bye.